I'm here with Adrian Zakheim, Portfolio's publisher and president. So today we're talking about the importance of education in business. And we'll start right in with the hard questions. Do you think earning an MBA still matters? I do. So if someone comes to you for advice and they say, do I need an MBA? I want to be a manager at GE. Would you say yes or no? Probably it would help. For a management job at a blue chip firm like General Electric, while there are other ways in, for sure, and it's not absolutely required, it would definitely expedite the process, in my estimation, for most people. Aside from actually helping you get the job, do you think there is a lot of value in earning an MBA? No matter how I answer this question, there are going to be people who disagree with me. And of course, there isn't an answer that applies to everyone. For some people, there's no question that an MBA is is a logical educational step. And for other people, it's really simply a waste of time. Later in the show, we're talking with uh, the authors of the MBA Oath, who have written this oath that is supposed to bring ethics back to business. Do you think that ethics are actually an important aspect of of a business education? Well, most of the business schools seem to believe this. So I would say, um, on the whole, uh, it is becoming more and more the case that ethics is a, is a component of business education. And it's clear that this new movement is gaining traction with business students all over the world. And probably after what we've all been through, it makes sense. So do you think that having an oath is actually going to make business more ethical? I think that the way that business is going to become more bounded by ethical behavior is to keep this conversation going in everyone's ears. Any oath is only useful up to a point, but having a dialogue about an issue that is lively and that people are engaged in is the only way to keep the, uh, the issue of business ethics alive. If we stop talking about business ethics, the likelihood that people will act ethically goes down. If we continue talking about business ethics, the likelihood of people acting ethically goes up. As a publisher, what are you doing to further this dialogue? Well, uh, I'm actually proud and excited to be publishing the MBA Oath. I believe that the movement that started last year, which challenged new graduates of business schools to take an oath to act ethically going forward, was a bracing and exciting step. And the fact that that it gave rise to so much controversy told me that this is something that's very badly needed. If it's controversial to ask new business school graduates to to act ethically in their dealings going forward, we've got a problem. Yeah, I would say so. The last question I want to ask you, just because we're talking about business education in in today's show, do you feel like you have a responsibility for business education as a business book publisher? I don't. Uh, My responsibility is is to excite and challenge and engage readers. If, in the process, we are able to provide a useful service, whether it be helping people make money or do a better job of running their business or do a better job of structuring their company or do a better job of composing their resume or, for that matter, doing a better job of preparing for their career, that's a very, very happy side effect. But that's not our objective. It's honest. Well, thank you very much for talking to us today, Adrian. My pleasure. Talk to you next month.